Welcome to today's video, which is going to be all about my birth story. So I'm not pregnant anymore, which means we had the twins. They were born on January 22nd, 2022. I was 38 weeks and six days. I thought I was going to be able to make another 39 week update because the day off when I got up, there were no signs at all, but I don't know if it helped. I talked to the twins and it was kind of my date that I had in mind all along. I thought January 22nd, it's a cool date. It's two babies and it's 1-22-2022. So lots of twos and there's going to be more twos. They were also born 22 minutes apart, which is also, that's so cool. Um, so the day off last Saturday, that's when they were born. I got up in the morning and there were no signs at all yet. By the way, they're sleeping back here. I hope this is not too disturbing, but lifesaver big time. And then later on, like, I don't know, before noon, I started noticing some mucus. It was just a lot of mucus and uh, it was different than any other thing that had ever happened before and I don't remember when I had my daughter I don't remember mucus plug coming out or anything like that um, not that I remember but this time I did text my midwife you know we we, we were pl planning a home birth with um, two midwives so you know there was nothing speaking against it at that point I told her okay just be aware there's a lot of mucus coming out but it might you know it might be today it might be days you never know and uh, there was just it continued to be a lot of mucus and then I thought I don't know I thought I had to like I, I couldn't hold my pee because it had been that that had been the case for weeks before to where you know I mean I could hold my pee like it was, would not be a lot it was just a lot of weight on my bladder but that was a little different. I thought, huh, it's really annoying and there's all this mucus. So I just kept going about my day and I was really hoping and praying that it would be the day. Then I started feeling some very light contractions and I thought, okay, this could be the start of something. And you know, I never had any strong Braxton Hicks. It was never really a lot of tightening. It was just a slight discomfort and pressure but this time it did get a little stronger. So I decided to download an app to kind of just keep checking like how often are they coming on? How long do they last? And yeah, I think it was about like a little after three when I thought, okay, I'm pretty sure these are actual labor contractions. And I decided to get into the shower, take a nice hot shower. Um, like a nice warm shower because I always heard that if they're just Braxton Hicks then they will stop if you relax your body and you take a bath or shower so I took a shower and I thought like if it's today then I'll wash my hair and all that's already done for the day and uh, they did not stop they actually continued to be very regular so every four to seven minutes roughly I called my midwife and I said, okay, I think I am having contractions now, labor contractions. And funny thing is, you know, she coincidentally, she just drove through our town. She was on the way somewhere. And, but she said, okay, I'm going to cancel my appointment that I had. It's not a big deal. And I'm going to stop by the, your house and check. So she stopped by and she checked and yeah everything was on go like definitely there were labor contractions um my cervix was shortened all the way and it was three centimeters opened so she decided to stay and then i made some tea i thought like maybe i can just clean out the dishwasher still while um andreas was kind of getting stuff ready and they were covering up the sofa and uh, you know preparing towels and all that so you know, soon enough, contractions got stronger to where, you know, I had to stop and breathe and make some tones. And I don't know, it just progressed quite quickly. I think my midwife came around 4.30. 
and um, 4 30 yeah and that's when it was already quite progressing the thing that was the most unique about this birth was that I don't know it, it just pretty much went from just contractions that were regular to you know then slowly transitioning I, I did feel a transitioning point where there was just a tiny bit of a break and then my body had the urge to push which I don't remember having that a lot with my daughters when I got her she I, my body just kind of did it I, I I pushed not because I pushed just my body pushed and I didn't do anything to help it this time was very different so my body started pushing like it does automatically um, and there came the point there were so many contractions with pushing I just don't know we we just it was it just I couldn't believe how long it took you know I mean the entire birth didn't take long but that phase with the pushing I kept pushing and I kept pushing and I kept pushing and I could not stay on my legs anymore I like my muscles were just like oh, I can't anymore so because of my muscles giving out um, I decided or my midwife said can I lie down on my side so I lie so I lay on my side and I would hold my leg or she would hold my leg up uh, when I was pushing and she you know she told me it's go ahead and just push with it you know take just take an effort and push when the next contraction comes so I started actively pushing which really did progress everything a lot and um, then she said at some point okay everything is dilated everything is ready but there's just this little lip of the cervix which is still kind of keeping the head from popping out so I just kept pushing and pushing and I can tell you the next day my my back muscles were so sore because it was just all of this pushing going on um, yeah and then finally the head was born so our boy came first and he had the smaller head but w along with him came a lot of blood so I haven't had the talk with my midwife yet like we're gonna have another meeting the way I remember her explaining it to me was that there was already a partial placenta you know like sh it the placenta already um, came off partially and that's why there was a lot of blood coming out with him um, everything was okay but um, yeah she was just like okay now we need to really now we need to push and head came out with quite a bit of blood which you know I didn't really use lose that much blood it just looked a lot on the video and I did make a video and I'm gonna try to put out a birth blog video it's not the best quality but I just did want to share and then with the next contraction the body came out and uh, it was just amazing <laughs> I just remember you know I've watched the video footage and I just kept like oh oh you know I kept holding the baby and then which now that's unique for twin birth normally you're so enamored with the baby and you're like oh my goodness I have a baby and you're overwhelmed and I just wanted to focus on the baby I was like okay I'm in heaven now but then you know after a few minutes she was like okay now we need to focus now we need you need to focus on your second baby so I'm like yes 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 I need to focus now I have another baby coming out and uh, here's here's what my midwife told me happened um, because the placenta was already starting to come off we you know she was thinking that we need to kind of make sure that it doesn't take too long now but the baby the girl she was still quite high up right after the boy had come out but the good thing is my body knew what to do and she came down very quickly very quickly so um yeah within 22 minutes she was out all the way 
and along with her came a lot of amniotic fluid. My midwife had to open the amniotic sac and I think that progressed things. Um, it was still intact and uh, that's why it took a long time for her to, to, to descend at first but after my midwife opened it everything progressed and she came out with tons of amniotic fluid and um, which is also the reason why she's a little bit congested now. She must have breathed in just a bit of it, um, which is not uncommon, of course, and they live in it. And um, yeah, it, it seemed like it just happened so quickly. So around three o'clock, the contractions started and around 5.30, my midwife rolled around and 7.45, yeah, 7.45, our boy was born, and then 22 minutes later, our girl was born. So everything went smoothly, really. Um, my body knew what to do, and the wonderful thing was that um, my daughter was there. My mom made it in time. She lives about two and a half hours from where we live, but she made it, I don't know, just about maybe 15 or 30 minutes before the, the boy was born. She made it here, and um, I think for her it was an amazing experience also. Um, it is already an amazing experience just to witness a birth, but then a twin birth and two new babies coming out, that's just amazing. And my daughter, she did so well. She held my hand. She was so sweet, and she's actually the one who filmed um, because I had to hold on to her dad and stuff like while contractions went on sometimes but it was so it was so peaceful it was just peaceful it was just so relaxed because I was surrounded by my most beloved people in my life and um, it was so precious and you know with my daughter she's almost 10 she's gonna be 10 this year we talked a lot about birth and we watched videos and we watched, you know, we talked about what it feels like for me and what it felt like when I had her so that she knew what to expect. And it was her decision too. She was like, I totally want to, I want to be there. Because I told her if at any point you feel like you don't want to see this or you don't feel comfortable with anything, you tell us and someone will you know, take you out, like take you upstairs to your room or something. If you can't handle mommy making noises that indicate that she's in pain. Um, yeah, but she was like, she told me afterwards, she almost started crying when she heard me saying like, oh, oh. But um, she was just amazing. She held my hand and she was like always saying, mom, you're doing so well, so amazing. And I think for everyone involved, it was just like, I don't know, for me, it's like, I was so present this time when my daughter was born. I, it's all a blur. I don't remember it. That also happened quite quickly. But this time, it's, I don't know, I'm very clear. I remember every detail, pretty much, of what happened. And I just, I'm so grateful that everything went the way it went. And, um, you know, I did have my bag packed just in case but you know when I talked to my midwife always we said okay we had some scenarios what if you know what could go wrong and what if this happens then she will decide to transfer to the hospital she we were very clear about what how far she's comfortable going with me and what the point was at which we would have to interrupt and take me to the hospital we were very clear, but then also when we talked about these things, we always said, okay, these are, this, this is what could possibly happen, but we're going to forget it. We talked about it and now we're going to forget it because it's not going to happen. <laughs> so we just kept thinking positive thoughts and I don't know, I just fed my thoughts with, I fed myself with thinking like, okay, why would anything go wrong? It's the most natural thing in the world and just because there's two doesn't necessarily make it more pathological. Everything was good. I mean, I went to that last ultrasound. Babies were head down. Um, yes, and by the way, 
it was really interesting because ultrasound can only give you an estimate and all along with the ultrasounds my doctor always thought the babies are pretty much the same size one is just a little bit bigger but it's just minimally and the last time that he measured he estimated both babies around 2800 to 2900 grams I'm gonna to try to put on the screen what that is in ounces and pounds. I just don't know. And well, what it ended up being was a whole different scenario. He is quite a bit smaller than she is. She is a big baby for twins. So um, he was born at 2,600 grams and she was born at 3,450 grams, which is I mean, for a twin, it's quite big. I am very happy and they're doing well. I mean, both babies, picture perfect. You know, they had a 10 out of 10 on the Apgar scale. Both of them, they breathed right away. They cried both uh, right away. And uh, yeah, healthy babies. Um, he's so tiny though. Um, like, I mean, in comparison to his sister, he looks so tiny um, and she's already so, I don't know, she's chunky. She's really chunky and uh, she can already quite well hold her head. You know, she has strength in her neck muscles already. For him, you have to still be very careful because he's still a little bit more fragile. But I couldn't be more happy. And I think the most important thing to me is just to bring out the message that, you know, of course, you everyone has to do what they're comfortable with and making decisions that you know you are responsible for in the end that's hard I did have a lot of thoughts about you know am I making the right decision I had a lot of reading going on going into this birth experience I read so many books about birth natural birth um, I looked at a lot of videos and a lot of documentaries so I had a really good picture about the natural processes and potential complications and at the same time also knowing that a lot of interventions why one thing leads to the next and why a lot of problems arise because of interventions but like I said I think every individual has to make their own choices and I think especially as women it it's not easy but making a choice that you feel at peace with to where that you know after it's over we all of course just want healthy babies and healthy mom that's that's the most important thing and whatever it takes to deliver two healthy babies and have a healthy mom afterwards to take care of the babies do whatever needs to be done to to have that happen and for me since I had this wonderful experience when I had my daughter I did want to have that again and I'm very grateful and blessed that everything you know all the stars aligned everything happened the way I wanted it to and um, yeah I want to encourage everyone to not be intimidated just because of what other people say so if if you are making an informed decision and you feel that it's not just dumbness or you know ignorance that you're basing your decisions on but it is an informed decision do what is right for you and don't let anyone tell you otherwise I've always listened to my body and I always was honest with myself about what I feel you know like how far can I go where, where would be my limit and um, yeah what, what am I comfortable with and when when would I be okay with the outcome and when would I not be okay with the outcome and it's worked out for me so that is my birth story and um, I'm gonna see if I can now show you the twins I want to share more details about our lives in the future I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, in the not too far distant future make a video about the birth blog and see what I can use from that footage it's quite graphic because I did tell my daughter to like it's like I, I want to see it I want to see like actually like 
it come out I want to see what what it looks like when the head comes out and it's quite graphic but I think it's fascinating and it I don't know it it was really important for me to have that footage and to watch it again now I watched all the sequences and it's like okay it's it's what I thought it would be <laughs> and at the same time so different so we had to postpone this it's a couple it's a day later <laughs> than I made the video it's not so easy to ha have a time when both are awake so um, here's our girl um, not in order when <laughs> as they were born she was born second this is Lola let's see if I can show you there she is I think she's about to be a little bit fussy, but she's so sweet, and she's she's got nice chunky cheeks, and um, yeah, she's pretty happy. So, welcome to the world, Lola. And here's Emil. He's our little tiny boy, but um, he's putting on weight now again. So, um, you know, it's normal when they are born, they lose some of their weight until the milk comes in, which is, has really come in now. And now he's really gaining weight. So there's a little boy, Amy. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned so you can make sure you don't miss my future videos. I'm gonna share more about the birth and then of course about the twins about my postpartum experience i'm feeling good it's been a week now exactly one week and i'm feeling really good and it feels so good to have my body back and i'm going to share some of the things i do for post postpartum to heal and to make sure that you know i'm nurtured have a wonderful day and i hope to see you soon